My name is Jordan Grummet. I'm a personal finance expert and hospice doctor. As you can imagine, I'm quite the life of a party. Through my work in hospice, I've sat with thousands of people as they've transitioned from life to death. Often my patients die as they live. Some express sorrow, others hope. For all of them, it's a time of deep thoughtfulness. But you know the one thing no one spends their final moments on earth thinking about? Earning more money. Instead, they regret that they didn't use the money they had to live a more fulfilling life. They regret that they didn't travel more. They regret that they didn't write that book or spend more time with their grandchildren. As the host and creator of an award-winning financial podcast, I've discovered that we are too obsessed with investing in stocks and bonds and not enough in our unique purpose, identity, and connections. The dying understand this intimately, and those who are lucky enough to have six months or even six more weeks spend their final moments on Earth truly alive. But we don't have to wait for a death sentence to start searching for meaning and asking the important questions. Let's remove the hurdle of good money management so we can learn to live well, starting this moment before it's too late. Are you willing to take stock of your life Hey yo, this is Jordan Grummet, aka Doc G, with a bonus episode of the Earn and Invest podcast today, Tuesday, June 28th, to announce my book, Taking Stock, A Hospice Doctor's Advice on Financial Independence, Building Wealth, and Living a Regret-Free Life, goes into pre-sales today. I am so excited to put out this bonus episode today. This is unrehearsed, unscripted. I'm just coming live to you today to talk about what is going on with the Taking Stock book launch. First and foremost, pre-sales start today. So go to earnandinvest.com slash pre-order. Again, earnandinvest.com slash pre-order. Basically, this book overall is my contribution to the conversation about not just financial independence, not just personal finance, but about money and life and how we balance the two. If you've been enjoying this podcast, if you like the message I've been sending out, go ahead and pre-order the book. It's a chance to see all these ideas, which we've been throwing back and forth over the last few years with panels and individual interviews and see it all built together in one place as a consistent story about how we integrate money into our lives. Not only have pre-sales started, but also I'm releasing my book trailer. This book trailer is a succinct vision of what the book is, but it's concise. In a minute and 40 seconds, you can see exactly where I'm going with this book. I put a lot of time and energy into it, Because I wanted to create something that really reflects what Taking Stock says. I played the audio to the book trailer at the front of this episode, but you can take a look at the video itself. Go to earnandinvest.com slash trailer. Again, that's earnandinvest.com slash trailer. I am so excited to also announce that Audible has purchased the audio rights to my book. So the other day, I actually went downtown Chicago to a really fancy studio. I had my own sound technician. I had a producer who was listening online. This woman is a film producer, actually. And I spent four hours recording the first 60 pages of Taking Stock. And let me tell you, my voice is still raspy. If you've never done this before, reading for four hours straight is not easy, especially when you're trying to read perfectly, get the words down, convey all the right emotion, the right pacing. I'll tell you it was difficult, but it really was a joy to be able to emote, to be able to put the feeling into the words that I had written down so carefully and edited and re-edited. It will be available on Audible probably also August 2nd as the book launches. So if you prefer to listen by audio... As opposed to read, this is the easiest way to do that. Uh, We don't have a link yet for that, but it'll be on the Amazon page, so it's something easy for you to find. 
I'm also really excited to announce that we are going to do a book launch party. This is going to be in Longmont, Colorado on August 19th, 2022 at Mr. Money Mustache headquarters. This is a free event. Everyone can show up. If you order the book before and bring it with you, I'll go ahead and sign it and inscribe it. I'm going to be interviewed by Carl Jensen. Carl will be there. His wife, Mindy, will be there. A bunch of other people, too, including Leif Dalin, the physician on fire, will be in town. Uh, Sarah and Ray from Waffles on Wednesday will be there. It should be a great party. I'm really looking forward to it, and I'm really looking forward to being interviewed in front of everybody. I think it's just going to be a blast. At this point, we're not limiting numbers, but I believe the venue can hold somewhere between 50 and 100 people, depending on how nice the weather is outside. Tickets are not available yet, but they will be available through Mr. Money Mustache headquarters probably about a month. So we're looking at around July 19th. But I wanted to let everyone know, especially if you had any interest in coming from out of town, you probably want some extra time to plan your travel. So that's August 19th in Longmont, Colorado. Last but not least, the book itself launches August 2nd. And in celebration on the Earn and Invest podcast, I am being interviewed by none other than J.L. Collins about the book. And we're going to drop that episode August 1st. I had a blast going to Wisconsin and hanging out with him and his wife, Jane. We had a great time as usual, and we recorded a in-person episode. I'm going to play a little clip of it at the end of this episode just so you can check it out. It was a lot of fun. We always have these really deep, granular conversations when we get together, and I'm excited to have captured one on audio for you so that you can hear what we were talking about. And JL asked me lots of difficult, penetrating questions about writing the book, Taking Stock, and I can't wait for you to hear the answers. So let's look at the next month or two. I will be a few different places. As I mentioned, August 19th, I'll be at the Mr. Money Mustache headquarters. I hope to see you there. Come check out our book launch event. I'll also be at Chautauqua in Bogota, Colombia from September 3rd through 10th. So if you already signed up for that, I'm excited to meet you and hang out with you. And last but not least, I'm planning on being at Camp Fi Southwest. That is in Julian, California, right outside of San Diego. That's October 7th through 10th. I believe some tickets are still available. If you are going to any of the Camp Fi's for the rest of the year, I believe, I think starting in August, I have actually been donated money from several sources, and everyone going to the next four Camp Fi's will get a free copy of Taking Stock. So all you have to do is show up, the copy will be there, and I'll see you all in San Diego and can sign your copies because we'll be hanging out in person. I think that's all I have for this bonus episode. This is an incredibly proud day for me, the day that started three years ago when I started having these conversations with Grant Sabatier about writing a book about what my experiences in hospice informed my experiences in financial independence and personal finance. I can't wait for this all to happen. I can't wait to share it all with you. I will be back to my normal schedule. Your next episode will be Thursday, uh, but I just wanted this short episode to tell you what's happening with taking stock and let you know that pre-sales have begun. So go ahead, earnandinvest.com slash pre-order. Again, earnandinvest.com slash pre-order. I hope you enjoy, and I'll talk to you again on Thursday. This is Doc G, and you are listening to the Earn and Invest Podcast. And this is J.L. Collins, and I have hijacked the Earn and Invest Podcast today. We are turning the tables on Doc G. He is going to be not the interviewer, but the interviewee. I have the honor of interviewing him today because we're going to talk about his new book, Taking Stock. Uh, I've had the privilege of having an advanced chance to read it. Uh, I had a chance to write a blurb about it because I liked it uh, so well. I'm excited to talk to him about it. I'm excited to introduce it to you, our listeners, uh, and I'm looking forward to you having a chance to read it. But right now, we're going to we're gonna put the spotlight on Doc G and put him under the hot lights and make him answer a few questions. 
first of all, Doc, this is uh, a hospice guide uh, to dying and to financial advice around it. Um, death brings up an obvious question. Legacy. So, Doc, what do you think your legacy is going to be? What do you want your legacy to be? So, obviously, JL, you are putting me on the hot seat. This is very reminiscent of one of the questions I asked you on one of the first times that I had you on the podcast. Legacy is a difficult question, and throughout my life, it's changed. When I was younger, I thought I wanted my legacy to be that I became famous, that I wrote the most read book, or that I changed something in medicine or developed a procedure. It's funny, as I get older, my sense of legacy has changed. Now what really has become important to me is to have an effect and touch the people in my immediate vicinity, to live a life of intention and, in my sense, to practice a sense of ethics in which I can demonstrate those things that I think are most important to the people around me. I can be there for them. I can be guide and counsel. I can ask them for advice when I have issues. I've really started to think about affecting people locally more than globally and feeling like a rock thrown into a pond and the ripple effect continues throughout the whole pond. I'd like to make a change locally in the people close to me, those people I can touch directly, and hopefully that goodness will spread. So it's a very different feeling about legacy than I think I had in my younger years.